Hey guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. Come on in for lunchtime happy hour. This is my segment for Craft Around the Clock and I'm happy to be here today. I'm actually filling in for somebody who couldn't do theirs, so always grateful to get to be with you guys. So let me know you're here. Hopefully everybody's having a good Friday. We've made it to the weekend almost, so let me know you're here and watching and that you can hear okay. I just like somebody who gets on quickly to tell me they can see and hear. And I'm getting it pulled up, but having a little trouble. There we go. Okay, we're in business. Y'all tell me how you're doing. Happy Friday. You can see that I am dressed for winter. I'm ready to do a Christmas tree because yesterday was the first day of fall, which means before we know it, it's going to be time for all the Christmas things. So not to skip fall, I've done tons of fall all around me. I have tons of videos um, of fall things, but I did want to go ahead and do a Christmas tree today. And I'm using different colors than I've ever used, so I hope it's going to be really pretty. Hello, Sue and Mindy and Brooke. Let's see. Hi, April. How are you today? Glad you're here. How is it going, guys? Tell me how work's going today. Okay, so let's get started so that we can finish in time. So, April, you're going to like this one. I'm going to do, well, y'all, can anybody guess, you see my white, but can anybody guess what I'm doing today based on maybe the text that you received? If you're on my text alerts, I did not send my telegram today, but I did send my regular text that I send out and we'll get started with telegram Monday. So be sure that you are signed up. I've got it on my page pinned to the top in the comments, I believe it is. And then I've also um, got it in the description of this video. So you want to get the text alerts. Thank you, Sue, for sprinkling. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Donna. Mindy says you're getting ready to bug spray yourself. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's like 90 here. So as soon as this is over, we'll be back in a t-shirt. Hi, Deb. Hi, Shelly Ann. Glad y'all are here. I'm going to get started because I just don't have any extra time today. But um, this is a really fun project. And yesterday and today, we have a sale going on on the Christmas trees, ceramic trees. So I thought this is a perfect chance to go ahead and paint one for you guys, show you just how easy. It's ceramic bisque. It's already been fired. And when we use acrylic paints and a sealer, it does not have to be fired again. So you're done. So I don't know. Can you guys see? I don't think you can. This, yeah, you see just a little corner of it. But here is one that I have done. I think it was in July, Christmas in July. But we're going to do a different one today. It's smaller. And I'm just going to start with my white because the ceramic bisque color is an off-white, which is fine. But I want to get some white on here, um, kind of give it like a base coat of this white. This one is super easy because it's a small 11-inch. I don't even sell these because... It is such a better deal to get the 13 inch that I quit even offering these. Um, they're really, really small and they're almost the same price as the 13 inch. So I just quit messing with them because they're pretty hard to ship. You've got to really pack them well and everything. So anyway, I've got 13 inch, which is what I just showed you. And then the, the big daddy back there is an 18 inch. So if you've never painted ceramics, super easy you just grab a chip brush like I've got here I'm gonna just kind of get this base coat on all of it now if I was gonna do this in green like I typically do a Christmas tree then I would be doing this with my darkest green shade I do have several Christmas tree tutorials and other ceramics I've done a camper I've done truck and tree I've done gee I know for our family, I've done quite a few others, but I don't think I've videoed them. So anyway, I've done pink, greens, uh, Halloween. So I had a black and orange and a black and hot pink. And we've done all the colors today. Did anybody guess what we're doing on this? 46? That is freezing. <laughs> so see, I'm dressed right for the occasion then. Where you are anyway. I thought everybody was going to laugh when they see this Texas girl in flannel today. Because, yeah, it's still hot here, but we are ready. And I believe next week it's going to be cooler. So, 65 with a high of 74, Brooke. Oh, my gosh, girl, get outside. You're going to feel better getting outside. How do you feel today? You're, I was thinking about you getting ready. 
so you're on my mind all the time you guys you know when you give me prayer requests I take them very seriously and you are on my heart and in my prayers so obviously easy to just get that can you see well I hope y'all will always tell me if I'm not I didn't even notice I hope y'all been able to see if um, if I'm ever not in camera range you just somebody start hollering at me well let's see hi Cheryl how are you today are you live today or did I already miss you I know sometimes you're in the morning Cheryl is MC in treasures her and Mike MNC what did I say MNC treasures Mike and Cheryl 90 in Florida Debbie yep that's about like here I know sometimes you wonder are we really gonna cool off but we will we will hi Kathy how are you this morning digital deco designs you can definitely come in here as your business my friend she has beautiful papers and things for you to craft with so I know everybody will want to check you out if they haven't and I think most people have Sometimes I say things like that, and I, who am I talking to? Because we all follow you. 60s in Wisconsin, Sue, that's awesome. Ooh, love it. So I'm just, I'm not dressed funny for at all. Y'all are probably not even thinking anything of it. Yes, welcome everybody, especially newbies. It's always fun to have new people tuning in and seeing what we're all about we have a sweet community so if you just hang out in the comments and never paint a thing that is more than fine we um, just love friends love making new friends and so yeah you're always welcome always welcome my name is Deb again with art and grace and I am here in South Fort Worth but we have people from all over okay so already I've got a nice coat of this white I just wanted to cover up the kind of eggshell color that the bisque comes in but again if you're wanting to paint green or any other color like when I painted a Halloween tree I went straight in with the black you don't have to have a base color but for what I'm doing today I do because I'm making did anybody guess it 90 yesterday and 68 today Kathy I love that that's how it happens and then just like all of a sudden it's fall We've been waiting and waiting and wishing, and then here it is. I know everybody will be going out buying their kids, you know, some warmer clothes, shirts, because they outgrow them every year, actually every few months. So do your kids grow like that? I can remember, you know, and you save up and you get them the, the jeans they have to have. They just have to have them. And then two months later, they're just over in the pile because they're too small. And it just hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Okay, so we've got a great base coat on our tree. It's actually pretty just white, but I'm going to put one of my all-time favorite colors on top, and I haven't seen anybody guess it, but it is Oyster Pearl. It is a really pretty shimmery pearl color. Yes, Melinda, today is the last day to get them on sale. I'll sell them again, but right now I've never, I don't think I've ever had them for this price because the shipping is included so instead of being like the big giant tree a lot of people sell them for 90 or, or up plus shipping and mine are 95 with shipping so that's a great price and I know it sounds expensive but it's something you're gonna have for 30 years and be able to give to your kids their kids you know pass it down I've got my grandmother's tree which is almost identical to mine so this is let me show it to you on the palette here or on the plate so it's oyster pearl it's a really really pretty pearlescent kind of color and i'm just going to brush this on with a soft brush any soft brush will work first yes exactly but you know kids these days they don't want to work they they're like i'll wear shorts i'm good you know so i'm going to start down here and i'm going to kind of go up these branches and see how I like it just kind of on the branches can y'all see that color I know uh, as I do more it will show better probably so let me get a few of these done I'm starting kind of at the bottom of this branch and just brushing up with this color so white will be the the base color and this will be on the branches and kind of just coming up the branches 
these are super 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 easy to paint but nobody knows it you know what i'm saying like if you give one as a gift they're going to be like oh my gosh you made that you know how pretty these are perfect for smaller spaces not the one i'm painting this one i'm not even offering but the 13 inch which is this one y'all there's a fly in here and you know how i hate flies 13 inches this one the big mambo is 18 inches behind me on the shelf and it's white i haven't painted it yet but um, they're perfect for anyone who doesn't want to mess with a big tree you know so elderly and people in college dorms or apartments and then um, of course gifts you know because we can go buy one but what's the fun of that you know it's made in china and and not special so i want one that i have painted to match colors and things like that oh hi guys you do melinda get it out halaveda thanks patty i am kathy i am right now just selling the trees themselves you get the tree uh, sent to you to your home and then just watch my tutorial but when you purchase a tree for me, I send you with the tracking, once it ships, you get an email with the tracking and all of the supplies that I use, which is, you know, the paints, the sealer, the brushes, all that. Plus, obviously, my video tutorial that you can paint with and slow down or speed up or whatever. But, um, you know, you can definitely use any colors that you want to match your home or whoever you're giving it to. These are really pretty done in school colors too. So, you know, if you have a kid in college or something, they would probably love to have one in their college colors. Hi, Carol, I'm good, how are you? I'm glad y'all are here. Is anybody actually eating lunch? Because I know I said, you know, 1245, that's kind of a lunchtime. So grab your lunch and come on. Is anybody actually eating lunch? Don't you guys love the nostalgic feel of these trees? Like that's probably my favorite thing about them is it brings back the best memories. Because my grandmother made her trees. She made all of us a tree and probably other people I don't even know about. But she did that in the late 70s early 80s so I know you guys have family members that did that too because they were just popular back then as well and so now of course they're in again and some places are you can find them very expensive you'll find some cheaper ones just be careful what they're made of because um, you know not everything is a good deal once you get it and see it's not a very good quality these are great quality and I've used the same distributor for a long time. I've tried a couple of different ones and this is my favorite. So I'm sticking with this one for now. Okay, I am gonna bring this. I'm almost thinking I wanna bring this on the, look at that color y'all, that is so pretty. Can y'all see that? Oh my goodness, I am loving this color. I think I'm gonna put it over the whole tree. I was just kinda gonna do the branches, but I'm going to quickly go in and get it all over this whole tree. I love it that much. That is beautiful. It's so iridescent like and just pretty. I hope y'all can see that on camera. You know, I always take pictures after because sometimes it is hard to show y'all or I hold it up just for a quick second and it's not long enough for you to really get a good look at. But you see how easy they are to paint. So, you know, something that's such a nice gift but really easy to do and i also think it's really fun to do these as a family just because they're nostalgic and so you're making memories with your family your grandkids or your kids or maybe you and your daughters or you know who knows sisters want to do one together you do ceramics you do michelle you pour your own that's awesome um, so do y'all have nostalgic memories of doing things like this with your grandparents or anything or doing crafts with your grandparents? A lot of you have heard me say that it skipped my mom. She was not a crafty person, but my grandmother taught me a lot. We crafted together my whole life up until I was 
a teenager and didn't want to anymore. But, um, but yeah, I have great memories with her. And I know a lot of you guys tell me that you painted with your grandkids over the weekend or this or that. And I just think that is the most fantastic thing because, you know, you don't want to have them over and them just sitting on the phone or computer. So get out some paint and do something creative or crafts and um and they're going to have those memories forever like i do of my grandmother and yeah you love the color debbie oh this is oyster pearl and it's a metallic by deco art and really really gorgeous they have it in the small two ounce size that i have and then they've got a bigger tub of it and it's a little thicker paint but this is so pretty. Okay, I'm going to hold this up and let y'all see it again. Can y'all see? Oh my goodness. It's just pretty just like this. You don't even have to do anything else to it. Put white lights in it. Oh gosh. Okay, so let's see what else we want to do to this though. So remember, you can put snow like I did on this one. This one has snow on all the branches. But I think this one, because it's so blingy or, you know, fancy, the color makes it look fancy. I'm thinking let's put something like glitter. If you need, <laughs> Linda, I have a feeling April may claim it first because I definitely thought of April when I did this, I decided to do this color. Oh, I know Melinda, like, it's so hard. My daughter didn't ever want to craft with me either. She does now some, but um, y'all, I left my water cup in the other room, so don't tell. I'm going to add some water to this little bowl I've got and put my brushes in it because you don't want to leave them out of water. All right, guys, you did one in high school and give it to your mom. Oh, that's so sweet. And she wanted you to have it. Oh. Oh, good for the Hocus Pocus. Oh, how fun, Levada. Okay, so here's what I pulled. I've got a couple of options, and I already think I want this one. But um, you can't go wrong with crystal glitter. And this one is champagne, which I think will be gorgeous on this tree. So y'all vote. I mean, either one will look good. So y'all pick what you think will look the best. Champagne or clear. And we'll put that on all the tips of the tree. So pretty. And um, these are Craft Twinkles by Deco Art. I love them. I use them a lot because you get the look of glitter and it's still gorgeous and blingy, but it's no mess, zero mess. So April said champagne. I had a feeling. Do you have, let's see, do you have two fire? No, that's the thing is the way we're doing them, they've been fired once. We're gonna coat them with acrylic paint and put a really good sealer. I use triple thick and then you are done. You do not have to fire them a second time. It's just a different way to use bisque and it makes it so easy. You could literally pump out three trees in a couple of hours and have amazing gifts. For your family so like you know those people that just have everything and don't really need anything these would be great oh hey justin how are you my friend we're in an event together this weekend i'm happy tomorrow um you guys that will be a great event so be sure and check in all day tomorrow for um it's called oh my gourd it's fall and um it's lisa brown and char y'all help me coger char's um sorry i always go blank on her last name event and it will be really fun so be sure and tune in i'm at 10 15 justin what time are you uh but you know just tune in for the whole day it starts at 7 15 in the morning okay so i'm gonna do the same thing with my brush just kind of uh putting this you can go down or up i kind of go up because i'm just wanting it right on the tips of the of the branches but you can definitely go down with it if you want to just either way you're just kind of popping it onto the tips of these branches as if it were snow maybe that's kind of the look I'm going for and I hope y'all can see it takes a minute for my iPad to catch up to what you see so 
let's see, you can see okay, you can see okay. Do you clean your slip before you put in kiln? Are you talking to me? Because we don't have to fire these. These have already been fired and we're just painting and sealing. Good, Levada. Hi, Lisa. How are you? How are you feeling? Are you healed up? Healing up? Doing good? You guys, let me know how you're doing. Give me updates and all that. That's one reason I love going live, just to see how everybody's doing and check in, you know? Okay. So, ooh, just tapping this onto the branches. I'm kind of going fast, so I'm trying to be really neat, but go really fast because we are you know, a little limited on time. Can you guys still see me? My iPad froze up, so in that we're not having any kind of weird glitches going on. My page did transition over yesterday, so we've had a little, some little hiccups, but nothing major, thankfully. But it explains why things have been so wonky lately, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, this one, your tree will come with lights. If you order from me, it comes with lights and the little light. Don't worry about anything. Are y'all still there? It is doing something so weird. Y'all let me know if you're still there. Hi, Tammy. Bye, Denise. Glad you came by. It is freezing. I'm so sorry, y'all. Yes, I have lights and the little bulbs that go underneath them. They just kind of twist on. I'll show it to you. looks like this and we'll put it underneath and then the little bulbs that just I don't ever glue my bulbs down I know some people do but I might want to change so let's say in two years I hate this color and I want to change it but if my bulbs are already glued in it's gonna not be possible and I don't know I just like to be able to put them in every year it's kind of a part of the memory of doing these trees you know we've had these since I was a kid and part of the fun is putting the little bulbs in and then turning the little switch. I sell these, Terry. And if you are in the VIP group, please do not purchase off my website. Please go into the VIP group where you can get your discount. So even though these are on sale, I'm giving the VIPs a discount on top of that. So y'all are really getting a good deal. <laughs> Okay, good. I'm glad y'all are still here because I know when it glitches like that, a lot of people will leave. So thanks for staying because it we can't help it. It just, with all the updates, it's probably going to be glitchy for a little bit. So we do appreciate you guys hanging with us through that because we sure can't help it. Y'all, I'm going to hold this up in one second. But it is looking so pretty, and I hope y'all can see that on TV. I am kind of wiping my uh, brush off every so often because I did not wait really for anything to dry because we're pressed for time. So I'm just kind of going right in. Typically, I would make sure my base coat is super dry, and then I would put this glitter on. But I just went right on top of it. So sometimes I feel like I need to kind of wipe my brush so that I'm not pushing around paint. I know. Oh, I love ceramics. Now, I've, like I said, I do the easy way. I've never done firing or anything like that. My grandmother did, but we just, I just love this way because it's so easy and quick for people like me that don't want to mess with a kiln and everything. You know, and before that would just rule, rule us out. We just couldn't do them. So now this is a great way to still be able to do them. Also, I'll have ornaments a little closer to Christmas for you guys to do, and those are always fun to paint. So be watching. Be sure you're following me if you haven't. Just hit the screen and the three dots and, and hit to follow. And, and even if you think you're following me, you might check because I've had people message me going, no wonder I haven't been getting your notices haven't been seeing your stuff and so they went and checked and and had unfollowed you know just how it does sometimes it just does that to us when they do the updates they push out updates but then it messes things up 
Okay, let me just take a look. Yep, see, I missed a couple over here. Do y'all remember these stockings with sequins? That's another thing that I made with my grandma. She made all of us one, and then um, she taught me how to do it. So I have made my whole family one, and our dogs that we've had over the years have one. Um, but I love those stockings. I've got some to finish up this year that I started and never finished. Um, but that's why I like to get started on doing some Christmas crafts here and there right now, even though it's early, because you know, you've got to get the supplies, get them in, uh, find time to do it. So if you have the supplies you need, you're a step ahead. So, you know, like if you're considering a tree, they're not going to be on sale after 9 p.m. tonight. They will be off. I won't be selling them for a while. And I don't know if they will go on that good of a sale again. Um, I even emailed to ask and she said, I would go ahead and purchase all you need because I don't know that they'll be lower. So, um, anyway, that will end at 9 central. So if you try to buy one at 920, it's, it won't go through. I've got to cut it off so that I can get the order into them before it's not on sale anymore. Okay, let's see. How are we doing on time? 12.45. Oh, we're good. We're good. I'm so happy. I can relax. Yes, LaVeda, if you go to, like any of the links that are down here, I believe my website link is down there. You can click on that and it will take you to my website. And one of the pages is all my favorite supplies. And just click on the one for Amazon and it'll take you there. And I have lists, different lists. So you can see, um, I think I might even have a ceramic supply list, but if not, it'll be under art, my favorite art supplies. And this is Oyster Pearl and Champagne Twinkles. And I know they're on there because I use these all the time. Hello, Kelly. Glad you're here. And, you know, if you ever, the link, it's down there, Terry. Oh, do you, you're, no, you're not in the group, are you? Um, so the link is down below pinned to the bottom. It's just my website and it'll be right there on the front page. You'll see it when you get on there. Yes, Blakely, I am on Telegram. I have not sent out my first notice yet because I'm waiting for everybody to get on and kind of finish up. You know, I need to, I'll start on Monday. But yes, I'm excited to have that resource because I know most people are using it. Before when I started to use it, it was about a year ago, I had a lot of people say they weren't going to use it. They didn't want to use it. But now so many people are using it. They've come around and and even they, they are on there. So, so yeah, well, okay, let's see. Can y'all see? Now it's going to take a second before I can see what you're seeing. So I'm going to hold it there a second to see if you can see that glitter. Or y'all can start giving hearts if you see it. You got the test? Okay, good. Hello, Barbara. Thank you, Sue. I do too. Isn't it a classy look? So are y'all traditional or, um, you know, like just red and greens or are you like bling kind of like this or are you, oh y'all wait till you see the topper. I cannot wait to show you all the topper I made. Um, or are you like fun, you know, like all the, all the fun, colorful, like candy, you know, candy land, like there's just so many themes out there. So tell me what themes y'all use and what you like. Oh, good, Sue. Yeah, I think if we're all on it, then that's great. Everybody will get used to us using it and get on board if they're not, because it, it's very safe. I looked it up, I read about it, and, um, and especially for what we do, we're only sending, hey, we're going live, you know, we're not sending out any credit card information or anything like that ever. Will never be anything like that. Thank you, Debbie. Okay, I love it. Um, I don't even think it needs a thing other than, I think that's really pretty. It's definitely prettier in person, but yeah. Okay, let's see, a little of both. Yeah, we do too. We have, yeah, uh, traditional green. Like, you can't go wrong with traditional green. 
and I've painted these bases. Uh, this one obviously is red, but I've done gold. I've done a lot of them with gold, which is really pretty too, but the red is just so perfect for happy Christmas. You know, it just screams Christmas. So it does come with all of these little bulbs and the star, but at, which is perfect for any of these trees. I've never changed them. I mean, I think they're great. But for this tree, I am going to order clear bulbs, um, which will be definitely much better for this. So let me just put some in what I have here and show you. And then I'm gonna show you the topper and I'll tell you how I made it. Super easy, but um, fantastic for this kind of tree if you're gonna go bling. Yeah, the same. Well, the kids like that because whenever my kids left, you know, I think it was when they left for college and I would try to change things, they would come home and go, what, you know, where's the, where's all our ornaments? Because every year we buy everybody an ornament. Like I buy the kids an ornament and my husband. So um, my, my thought was when the kids leave home, they can take all their ornaments with them. So their first tree, they'll already have a big bundle and it'll be good memories. So that'll be sweet, you know. Um, so it was kind of funny that they wanted that old tree to look the same. They didn't want my pretty tree that I had worked so hard on um, making bows and doing all the things to make it really pretty. Okay, I think I've got all the white that I see. So, oh, let me show you how easy it is to put. So this is what, you know, you get a plug with this little bulb and you can't see the little switch, but it's the kind that you just turn. And so these squeeze together. You see that? Just squeeze them together. Now this isn't dry, so I'm trying to be real careful how I pick it up. And you just put it right here and just, you're gonna hear this click. You might not have heard it, but it's secure. So you, it just stops on the little stopper. And then wherever the cord little curve is, you put it there. And we'll put on some light. You're not gonna be able to tell because it's so bright in here. But are y'all ready for the topper? So again, if anybody is interested, please, please order now. Don't wait. Um, also, I don't expect the trees to sell out, but a lot of their items sell out every year. And so that's why I start early. I don't wait. So I know, you know, y'all are thinking, a lot of people think, well, Christmas is a long time away. Yes, but I don't want the things that I want for me <laughs> and for you. I don't want them to sell out. So I go ahead and try to order early and encourage you guys to and you know also it's better for us anyway that way we can get s more crafts done and not have to worry about waiting to the last minute okay so let me get the little switch and it is all lit up in there and that will show through at night and be so warm and pretty so i'll be definitely put a picture up showing but here's what i did for the topper i knew that we didn't want just a regular little yellow gold topper that's not that doesn't do this justice so what i thought was let's take some totally dazzled bling and i didn't grab an extra stick but you know the popsicles not popsicle but um like a stick for a sucker that's kind of round i took the little brooch piece off just with a um just grab any kind of pliers and pull it off they also have you know all kinds also on my website if you go to my website um on that page that says my favorite supplies i am a totally dazzled ambassador proudly and you can click that link to use my affiliate, which I would definitely appreciate. So I thought these would be pretty. So how do I do it? So I took a little stick. This is just a wooden dowel and I used my stick fast glue, just stick fast, thick glue and adhered it to the back of the stick just with a stick fast and it held it beautifully. It's not going anywhere and I can just pop it right down 
into my tree. And now I've got a gorgeous topper, right? Y'all see that? How pretty, so much better than just the plain little plastic, right? So I was really happy that this worked. And we're talking a little stick I already had with the little total dazzled, totally dazzled bling. So, so pretty, I just love it. What do y'all think, do you like that? Um, yes, I think so too. Now, you know, if you want something smaller, there's that one and it's a star. So, you know, I just went big, but you can definitely do a smaller if you want something smaller. Um, I just ordered, let me see if I have it handy. I think I do. Hold on, hold please. Hold please. Okay, here is my little kit that I just ordered. I'll show this to you. I love getting this in um, because I like to use small a lot instead of the really large size for different projects. So can y'all see um, such beautiful little pieces. It's pretty much what I just showed you, but smaller size. So, you know, you whatever you're needing it for, they're going to have the different sizes and the different colors. You know, I love gold, but they've got silver. I love the antique gold as well. They've got rose gold. So these are um, fantastic prices. So for the quality that they are, super, super good deal. Good. I'm so glad you like it, Sue. Thank you. What do y'all think of this? Is it too big? Once I got to looking at it on the camera, it might look a little big, but let's see. So I don't know if I should change and do a smaller one. What do y'all think? Go big or go home, April. <laughs> yeah, I kind of thought the same thing, I guess. Thank you. Aw. April, if you'll use it, it's yours. Thank you, Marie. Well, it's a unique color, but I like to show different ideas because we don't always want just a plain green. You know, if you've got somebody you want to make one for who's really glam or, you know, likes to have some bling in her home, because I have a front room, that's all I have, the one front room, right April, that this would go perfect in, that's, you know, kind of this look. And, and so I thought this would be unique and pretty and something different that we can do with these trees, but, they're all pretty. Hi, Cecile. Glad you're here. Yeah, this size is very small, so it's more for like a very small entry table, and I mean like apartment small. My entry table, I have one of these on in the, at uh, Christmas time, so this is, whoops, this is the general size, but those, the largest one is the one that's selling a lot this year. So this is 13 inches and it's a good size. This is a really good size for an entry table or somebody who doesn't want to mess with a big tree. Of course, the, the largest one is the prettiest tree and the nicest size to have because it is large. It's 18 inches, so it's very substantial. And um, a lot of people like that one for, it's something they're gonna keep forever, you know? Um, Thank you guys. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. Awesome. Yes, I agree. Let's see, go smaller. So Dorothy, you would do a smaller little bling? Yeah, th I mean, I think any of them would be pretty, but I did see that one, I think this one would be super pretty because it is really shaped like a star. So I might, I might put one of these on a stick and see which I like better and let y'all, I'll put a picture of it. How about that? And let y'all see what you think. But that's just, you know, you might come up with a different way to put this on, but I just thought that was perfect. I don't make them. I just sell them. I get them from a wholesale company. The tree behind me is the 18 inch. It's very nice and big, very substantial. Um, I can actually put a picture of both of them side by side. That one's just not painted yet. In fact, I might paint that today and then I would have a really pretty picture. But, you know, the sale is off at 9 p.m. So if you're thinking about it, um, decide quickly. <laughs> oh, April, I'll do you a big one. You know I love to keep, I could paint these, y'all. I'm not kidding because I do take orders. So if you're like, I want one, I don't want to paint it, just message me and I'll give you a price. Um, I've already got one to paint for somebody else too, so I'm happy to paint them because I enjoy it. Hi, Rosie. 
uh, Peggy, the 13 inch is, um, hold on, let me look before I tell you wrong. 13 inch is 58 and it comes with the light kit and the bulbs. And then the large, the big one is 95. Those prices include shipping. So typically it's the 58 plus shipping, but this is 58 with, that includes your shipping. So that's a really good deal if you're interested in one that you can do yourself. That's a good quality. Let me back that up and say a good quality because you might can find it cheaper on Amazon, but um, I don't know about the quality because I've heard not all of them. I'm sure there are some great sellers who are selling good quality things, but just be careful. You know, look at your reviews, look at what people have said about them and that kind of thing. Hello, Claudia. Glad you're here. Denise, on um, pinned to the bottom, you'll see my link for my website and on the front page, you'll see it. So just go to my website right down there. It's artgracepaint.com. Guys, thank y'all for being here today. I enjoyed it. The base comes with it. So the 13 inch comes with the base and the large one, that 18 inch, it, it, that is just one tree. So there is no base for that one. That one is just the big giant tree. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Hope that it gave you some ideas because we don't always have to do traditional. We can think outside the box and do something really different. So Maybe it gives you an idea for something totally different, but using these colors, I don't know. So I'm glad y'all are here. Hello from Kansas, Mary, glad you're here. All right, guys, Peggy, all of the trees that you're gonna find, all of the ceramics you're gonna find, almost all are made in China and shipped here, um, unless someone is pouring them in their home, you know, pouring them in a studio. So, but these are from China. They get them shipped in. But I guess the place they order from is good quality because I've had another tree from another vendor that wasn't as good quality. It chipped easy. These are much sturdier. So they're made better, I guess. So, okay, guys, y'all have a great day. I'm glad y'all were here. I'll see you tomorrow at 1015 in the Oh My Gourd It's Fall event. So, yeah. Oh, I know. Bring back great memories, Claudia. Thank y'all for being here, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.